G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures. And if you've been following my videos, and I appreciate those who have subscribed and those who have liked my channel in the past, you've seen that every time I've gone away prospecting, uh, we've taken the camper trailer. The camper trailer has been a, a pretty versatile camper to have. Uh, it's fairly lightweight, it's got a long draw bar, and I put the quad bike on the front. And on a recent trip, I went away you would have seen that a friend of mine, Ted, had a small caravan. And that sort of got me thinking a little bit about, hmm, maybe I could look at, you know, what's out there and maybe upgrading the camper trailer. So in this video, this is part one of a new series of how I've upgraded from my camper trailer to this. Now this is a 15 foot Coromel Superlight Caravan. It's a 1986 model. It is unlicensed at the moment. But one of the features that I was super keen on when I saw the ad, this has got a 2.3 metre draw bar. Now, the camper trailer's got a 2 metre draw bar and we put the quad bike on it. So, I'm going to take these boxes off and the original draw bar is still underneath. So, we're going to look at how we can just, you know, plate it to secure it in. Um, I've spoken to the people at the local trailer parts shop and we need to do the upgrade for the suspension, axle, springs to bring its rating up because it's going to carry a bit more and pretty confident that we'll, we'll be able to get this thing licensed probably with a, with a GVM of about 2 tonne. Uh, currently it's about 1.2 so I'll just show you what it looks like inside. It's pretty neat and tidy inside. Well, I'll just show you inside the caravan now. Um, it's a pop-up as I said, the, the roof's up at the moment and oh, I'll sneak around here. Alright, we'll just take a look inside the van. Um, Alright, up the step and typical 80s style uh, colour tones, but that's okay. Hey, it's it's more structurally um, important that it's 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 sound than than, than the colour, I guess. Uh, it's got a four burner gas stove with an oven. Uh, bench tops, cupboards across the front, sink. It's got a, just a wooden plate over the top, gives you a bit more bench space. Nice looking sink there. Cupboard in the corner. It's got this L shaped lounge which has storage underneath it. Oh, there's stuff in there so we can utilize that storage space. Uh, it has a 240 volt and a gas fridge. So it's not a bad size fridge unit in there, little freezer up the top. We'll probably take that out and replace it with maybe a, an angle 240 12 volt because we run a 12 volt system in here. Um, we've got single bunk beds and I took a cupboard out of here and put this air conditioner unit in, which I'll probably take out again, maybe try and put a cupboard back in because I think it needs a storage cupboard. And again, under these you've got um, storage room under here so yeah plenty of room in here and i said it pop pop top um you can come in with the roof down but it's a bit low a lot of overhead cupboard spaces i mean like i said it, it's more than what i need for a single person um, mrs rusty doesn't normally come prospecting with me so i just need something with a little bit more creature comfort and this is probably a little bit more than i was looking for but this is this is certainly um, a step up from the camper trailer and the camper trailer has been a really good uh, camper unit but I'm just looking for something a little bit better. Uh, it has 12 volt lights up in the ceiling and it also has 240 so we'll need to address some of those issues in an upcoming video we'll look at the uh, electrical system and how we're going to upgrade that. So that's just a quick look inside the van and as I said, it's work in progress. This is part one of a video series where we're going to be upgrading the van and get it ready to be licensed and then take it out bush. Okay, so that's just a look inside it. And around the back of the van, I'll just show you the carrier for the spare wheel. And that sits on the back here and it's bolted to the chassis underneath. And what I'm planning on doing is I'll take this frame off, probably extend these bottom rails out and use it as both a spare wheel carrier, because I'm gonna have to put two spare wheels, and maybe a jerry can rack, maybe two or three jerry cans along through here. So bring this top bar out, and that'll probably counterbalance some of the weight that's on the front without 
sort of negatively impacting the, the chassis. So, and this is one of the jobs I have to do around the back, and I'll get to that after I've done the drawbar. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I said two spare wheels on the back, but we don't know what size wheel yet until we work out what we're going to put under it, and that'll be a separate video when we look at the suspension. And as you can see from the inside, it's quite neat and tidy. Uh, yes, it's, it's got the uh, colour scheme of a 1980s caravan, but as you saw functionally, it's got you know, a, nice, a nice big uh, gas stove. Um, I probably won't use the fridge that's inside it, but if we go somewhere and we, we're you know, using 240, the fridge is there. A lot of cupboard space, two bunks, and over the course of the next few weeks, I'll, I'll be making a series of videos on the actual process for doing the upgrades to the van, changing the suspension, and basically tidying up a few of the things that are a little bit uh, need, need some attention and a lot of that's just cosmetic so I hope you can you can stick around and you can sort of follow the video series um, maybe you might have some ideas of your own that you might like to help me with and things to look out for um, we will be going off-road so the idea is we, we are going to need to look at maybe a new hitch one of those sort of you know the swivelly one that goes up and down and all around um, hopefully we can get a, a slightly bigger tire in the guard there and again that's the, I don't want to be cutting the guards and modifying the inside but if I can it'll be nice to be able to get a little bit more ground clearance um, there's a few things to do we've got to put a couple of water it's got one water tank we probably need to put two um, there is a basic electrical system as you saw but we'll need to dress that up and you know solar power on the roof that sort of thing so yeah I hope you can stick around I hope you can sort of follow along with this uh, journey of, of updating my camper trailer to the, to the caravan and, and the process of, of, of what we're going to do and get it licensed. So yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the uh, comments below. If you like the video, thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe button's down here. And if you haven't seen the, the previous video where we went away for that two weeks prospecting trip and we were using the camera trailer, I'll put a link uh, here somewhere for, for you to uh, check that video out. Okay, so that's it for this one and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.